Hey Claire, pick a color. Yellow. We're doing that TikTok trend thing, but on YouTube with a red. I literally haven't turned this thing on for months. It's just been sitting in my closet. <laughs> I think it's time for a sensor calibration. And just for fun, I'm gonna shoot this in six by five ratio, because why not? Sensor calibrations take forever. The question now is, do I do this handheld or do I do it locked off on a tripod? I think a tripod will look way cooler, but it's going to be an absolute pain in the butt to lug around town. On the flip side, handheld being much easier might not look as cool, but I'm lazy and I'm gonna shoot handheld. Starting now. And that's it. What do you guys think? Um, I had some fun shooting this. Honestly, I haven't touched my red in forever. Um, I forgot how much fun it is to shoot on. And I also forgot how much your arm hurts after holding it for an hour. Clara actually made her own uh, TikTok because it is a TikTok trend. Now that I think about it, could have started on YouTube and then moved to TikTok. Anyways, doesn't matter. Clara made her own. If you want to check it out, you can click a link in the description. As of right now filming, I haven't actually looked at the footage, so I hope it looked good. Why don't we head back and take a look at some of that footage. First, poutines. All right, let's talk about this video. The first thing I noticed when I looked at the footage on the computer is that yellow does not naturally pop, at least on camera. So I just did a simple lower saturation and then increase the yellows. And nothing crazy, I wanted this footage to look as natural as possible. The way I saw it is the way I wanted it in the video. And on top of that, I wanted to maximize my dynamic range. I shot this at like 1 p.m. on a bright sunny day. The sun was as bright as it possibly could have been. And there's a couple of solutions to that one. You can shoot with light or you can use bounces to help fill the subject or you can go the software route and shoot in HDR, uh, which is exactly what I did. I shot everything in Red's HDRX. What HDRX does, it'll take two ISO exposures and then in your editing software, you can blend between the two. Uh, and I pretty much just use that blend as an exposure slider. So if my shot's a little bit bright, I'll pull down the blend a little bit and then it's just kind of changing the balance of information that it's taking from each ISO. It's super helpful. In this case, I only did a two stop exposure difference, but that was just enough to maintain all the information in the highlights. That being said, when you're shooting, you only see one of the exposures. So I would always lean on the brighter side. But in every case, I was sort of exposing for the shadows and midtones. Um, and if the highlights were a little bit blown out, that was okay. Uh, but at the same time, I was looking at my waveform, making sure that I wasn't actually blowing out those highlights. But I pretty much just aimed to have those highlights pretty hot. Anyways, enough of that nerd stuff. What did you guys think of the six by five ratio? I thought it was pretty interesting. Definitely just gives the video like a different look. Probably move my dirty dishes before I start filming. Yeah, I don't know. I think it really just frames the shot well. It kind of resembles like a pretty that you would put on like your wall that has a white border around it and it just adds to the style a little bit I do want to mention some of my favorite shots uh, because there was a bunch that I really liked and some that I didn't really care for But regardless of how much I liked the shot I wanted to kind of include everything. That's why a couple of the shots were the same subject uh, I, I just wanted to reframe it but at the same time keep them both in there It kind of adds to that like analog like you get what you get sort of feel or mentality um, I really like the shopping cart. I just noticed the shopping cart is missing the handle there's, there's no handle on that shopping cart. In Canada, we have a grocery store called No Frills. It is completely yellow. I should have just walked down the street and got a shot of the entire building. The shopping cart is from No Frills. I don't know, I think just that yellow really pops on like the bland gray background. And I think the shadows on the ground look really good. It just feels like a film photo, you know? Another one is this van, just love it. It's a great van. It's also the kind of van that probably sells candy. It was in a very odd location, okay? This building with the yellow stripe and the blue paint, they just, they look so good together. The yellow awning, honestly, there's so many of these that I just really like. Even the rainbow, I thought it was really satisfying how I framed it halfway through the frame. The colors just blend so well. The little couch in the window is pretty cool too. And oddly enough, just this little pole in a bush by a building. I just really like the framing. I had a ton of fun filming this video. We literally just walked around downtown Peterborough, Ontario, and just found yellow things. It was a lot of fun and I would recommend everybody should try this. Even if you're not a photographer, go out there. It's just something fun to do. Especially if you're in Canada, everything is still on lockdown. 
there's nothing to do. This was a very enjoyable way to spend our time. Even while doing this, I had other ideas like what if I was looking for shadows instead of colors or maybe I was looking for lights at nighttime. I think this concept of a color walk is a lot of fun and I will definitely do another one at some point. It's also a great way to feel creative when you don't necessarily have something to tell or show or talk about. Uh, you're just not really feeling that motivation. It's a great way to go out there and just shoot something. Would highly recommend. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around for next time. Later.